Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Turismo 4 Part Something. I have no fucking clue at this point. I've lost count since who knows how long ago. So, anyways, uh, in this video, we're going to be getting started with the one make races, finally. And we're starting here in the American manufacturers. And... I think just the order I'm gonna go in is just, I'm just gonna snake across it like this. Just, I don't know, I'm weird like that, so, yeah, whatever. So we're going with a Chevrolet to start off, and uh, let me double check which one it actually is. So it's a Corvette meeting, and I already have a Corvette for this event. I bought one a long time ago, ignore the current car I'm in, I'm not supposed to have that. But as you saw a few seconds ago, I did buy the the black special car things that my emulator is going to fuck up, so fuck it. You already saw it. So, uh, I bought this Corvette Grand Sport a while ago, so we're going to be using this thing. My emulator has the wrong settings on it, so it's going to perform like shit. And, uh... I've already driven it, it seems fine without a diff anyways, so I think the only thing I'm going to do to this is NOS because I will be going up against the O6s and shit like that. So, it sounds like the game audio is a little too high for me, but oh well. I'll fix it in editing if I need to. So here we go, five single races, all Corvettes. And it looks like we're going to be getting started here at Seattle. All American tracks. Hell yeah, partner. Alright, looks like the only threat is going to be that C06 C5 starting out in the front. Uh, I gotta disable the music because I forgot I re-enabled it because I had like 100 days played on this game since the last video because I've been just driving random shit and I've been loving it, so. Alright, here we go with the first race at Seattle. 96 A spec points, okay. And I forgot to change the oil on this thing, so let's hope this goes smooth. Let's see, A spec points seems okay. Emulator's kind of struggling right now for some reason. Yep, I'm not gonna drive like this. Let me change the setting real quick. Alright, hopefully this. And it's not gonna solve it, okay. Well, fuck. Uh, let's get to the front of the pack so the game doesn't have to render in all these cars and keep it slow. Damn, those guys are already pulling away from me. Probably just on my lack of oil change alone. Oh my goodness, this slowdown. And I forgot to tune the NOS as well. Oh well, we got four laps around here anyways. Also, I just forgot, um, I have the display mode set to simple again because, yeah, I didn't like that suggested gear indicator thing, so I'm going to try this out for a few videos again, see how it is. The only thing that annoys me about it is that you can't really see the your lap times actively, you have to wait till you cross the finish line every lap. And, uh, it also doesn't show what current lap you're on until you cross a sector. Actually, no, it never shows it, period. Except when you cross the finish line and it shows, like, how fast that lap was or whatever. So, time to catch up to the Z06. Had to use my NOS during that whole straight, it seems. And barely kissed the wall right there, but whatever. I don't know why, but the C5 vet looks really kind of ugly in my opinion, not gonna lie. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just like the rear of it. Oh my goodness. Well, eventually made it around. 
emulator is running a bit better now. However, don't do this. I was on the brakes way too early right there. So yeah, this Corvette drives really, really well, surprisingly. I don't know why I say surprisingly, to be honest, but... I actually kind of like it. I was thinking about using this C5 vet and no, it's not C5, the C4 Grand Sport in the El Capitan 200 mile endurance, but instead I'm going to be using the Shelby Series 10, I believe it's called. Because I like it and I want to use it in something, so that's what I'm going to use it in. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have much to talk about. Other than the fact that tomorrow is election day. Of course, this video is going to be going up a lot later than that, but... Yeah, shit's hitting the fan. And no matter who wins this election, it's going to be ugly. But yeah, Trump 2020 just to make liberals angry. It brings me joy. Really smooth through that chicane in this thing. I pulled a substantial lead now, my god. I just noticed that. Five and a half seconds ahead. I'm still too early on the brakes. I keep underestimating the brakes on this thing. Because typically whenever I think of Chevy, I think of garbage junk. Whenever I think of GM, I think of plastic. Plastic brake rotors. And smack. So, expect the uploads to slow down a little bit again, because, uh, a few reasons. Uh, here come the excuses. So, first excuse, hunting season starting literally next weekend, and I cannot wait for it. I've been aching to get out of the city and get into the peaceful countryside again for pretty much a whole year at this point, ever since hunting season ended last year. And, uh, planning to get a few deer down on the ground this year, fill up the freezer, because who knows if the fucking stores are going to stay stocked, or if they're all going to get looted by burn loot murder, or Anquifa, BLM, bacon, lettuce, mayo. Politics and shit, yes. I hope the rest of the races aren't this easy, because, god, I believe this is a final lap already. And I hope I have enough time to actually finish recording this video before I run out of time, which, yeah. Hopefully I have the time before I run out of time. So, um, I've been doing a little bit of things that I probably shouldn't have been doing as far as this LP goes. You may have noticed I had the Suzuki Escudo in my garage, which is something that you win from a special condition event, and well, yeah, I kind of got really bored. I went and did a couple events to get some cars that I wanted to drive. But I went back and cleared the trophies of it, because like you can clear the gold trophies to reset it, and then you can win the car again. 
but it still counts towards your progression. So I got like 3% of the game done since the last video. But I'm still going to make videos on it later on, so who cares? Basically got to be doing them twice. And uh, I will be going back to those. But at the same time, that means I'm closer to 25% game completion, which I might even get it in this video, to be honest. And if I do, then I am most definitely going to be doing the Roadster 4-hour endurance first, so I can get the RX-7 LM race car, which is something I really, 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 really want to drive. And like I said a couple videos ago, but you probably missed it or some shit, but... I'm going to be spacing out the endurance events throughout this LP instead of doing everything at the end. Because doing all the worst races at the end is going to be terribly painful. And I think... I think I'm going to do... Sequita de la Sarf number 2, which is without chicanes at 50% game completion. I'm going to do... The Nurburgring 24 hour at 75%. And then at 100%, or well, the last race of the whole LP is going to be the the other Lasarth event. So here we go on Laguna for four laps. Same amount of ace pack points, go figure. I don't know what the fuck is up with my PC recently. Oh, I think I know. I think I know why. I, uh, kinda hooked this monitor up to my 1070, so I think that has something to do with it. Task Manager still says that my RTX 3080 is still running PCSX2, which I kinda don't want it to do because I want to use RTX Voice or my commentary, but whatever. But it looks like my plan did not work out, and I kind of forgot to change everything back. I'm no computer wizard or any shit like that. I know the basics. I mean, I built my PC, but that's it. Okay. I, I should shift. That would be handy. Alright, Grandpa, you can get out of my way. Or not. Bonk. Totally meant to do that. And going wide. Need to do the sand, which is nice. Bonk. God damn, dude, get out of my way. Is that a C4 vet in the lead? I don't think I saw two C5s at the start. There's nitrous around this other Grand Sport. It is a C4. Huh. Oh, I think it was like a ZR1 or something like that. I don't know. Damn, he's like sending it. I was way too slow in that corner, holy. Almost got loose there, but managed to save it.
I don't know why I'm driving in this view right now, but I just felt like it. I don't think I'll ever get used to driving in this view because... Even, like, doing it for long stints, as soon as I go back to my tryhard cam, I do so much better. It's kind of weird like that. Also, the... The shadows in this game are kind of deceiving, and the fact that it looks like my car is a monster truck because of how much smaller the shadow is underneath the car. Even though, like, it's really low to the ground in reality. It kind of throws you off a little bit, makes you feel like you're driving a monster truck. Also, the other thing I don't like about this view is the fact that there is no analog tachometer. It's digital, and I hate digital tachometers with every fiber of my being. Because uh, it makes it a lot harder to tell when you're supposed to shift. And I think they just look stupid. Oh god. Way too late on the brakes. So either I drive like this for the sake of the video, or I drive like this for the sake of my sanity. And I kind of don't want to be going back and forth between them every single race, even though I just did it right there. But this car seems to drive pretty nice in this uh, chase cam, and uh, it's positioned really well too. It's not the car's small enough to where it doesn't look like it's right in your face. Also, the emulator—you can see the track in front of me is just having a seizure attack right now. I don't know, there's been a lot of weird bugs with PCSX2, but that's emulation in a nutshell for you. Oh god, going way too wide again. I'm uh, starting to struggle a little bit, even though I have a solid lead. I can barely even hear the car. Makes it a lot harder for me to tell when to shift. Uh, going wide, going into gravel. I think that gray shit's gravel, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm gonna be driving like this now, again. really, really wish I could run RTX Voice again, but the problem with it is that since PCSX2 hogs up pretty much all of its use, uh, RTX Voice runs like shit, so not much I could do about that. Oh, hey, it's over. That was only on lap 3, but whatever. I think I'm going to turn the display back to full. So I can keep track of this shit a little bit better. So, uh, yeah, race number two down. 10,000 credits. And you can see, a couple videos ago, I had 11 million credits and now I'm just down to 1 million. Yeah, I have probably bought about 20 to 30 cars ever since the 1,000 Miles series ended because... Oh, that's not the right race. Because, um... Uh, I've just been wanting to experiment with different cars, drive other things with the wheel and stuff like that, see how they are, and I'm enjoying it, like, quite a bit, so. I don't regret it one bit. I could always do more money grinding. Yes, it is going to add to the, the days in the game, but 
Oh well, who cares? All right, four laps around New York. Yeah. The reverse layout. Slowly but surely. Leaner gets a huge advantage, and of course the 06 start out. Start about blah, blah, blah. Here we go again. The Z06 is starting out front, go figure. He's not gonna have any moving roadblocks in his way. Oh no! Okay. I thought I was gonna face plant right into that wall because emulator slowdown is throwing me off, and it threw me off there too. Okay, get me in front of as many cars as possible so this stops happening. Fuck. There again, this one slipstream pretty quick. Whoa, what the hell? How did you slow down without your brakes on? What the fuck are those taillights, my guy? Come on now. All right, got to stay with this one. Normally I tune the NOS, but since these are four lap races, uh, I'm not even really bothering with it, to be honest. I don't even know why I say to be honest and like the most useless context for it. Like, there was no point in me saying that, but I said it anyways. Yeah, it feels like I'm crawling. I don't think I've ever driven in this view yet. In a video. So I'm gonna give it a shot for this lap and this lap only. Oh my god, the weight transfer. That is so exaggerated, my god. Yeah, I got nothing to talk about anymore, really, besides random shit that goes on in the race. Also, uh, so much for the bumper cam. Ouch. I'm gonna do this for a lap. Doesn't even do it a quarter of a lap. Herp Durkader. Can I shift please? Thank you. Can I turn please? No thank you. Way too late on the brakes. Yikes. Holy shit, a useful first gear. Damn. Alright, I'm just gonna stick with this view because it seems like the emulator hates every other view. I'm gonna try to get this fixed by the next video, hopefully, whenever the fuck that's gonna happen. And there's that pesky gear indicator thing telling me how to drive.
Ouch. So yeah, just chilling now. La da 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 da. Oh my God, this arm slowed out. Even here. It's like every car I go past that's on the opposite side, it speeds up that much more. And about to hit full 60 FPS again right now. There he goes. I really gotta work on my throttle control. Stop being an impatient little fuck. And floor it going around a fucking carousel. Or roundabout. I also need to adjust my pedals because, I don't know why, but for some reason, just like 80% throttle input will be 100% in the game. So like there's kind of like a little bit of play there at the end of it. And I think I'm like three quarters or half throttle, but I'm actually full throttle going around a corner, so I should probably fix that. It's probably why my driving isn't the best. Because it doesn't feel like it should. See, chase cam like this, facing away from everyone, is fine. And I better just rotate, because I'm going to hit the wall regardless. But it's this. Ah, ha. This is almost like half speed. It took two seconds to go one second. Oh, there we go. Slow motion across the finish line. Gotta love it. So there's race number two down. Wait, no, that's number three. Can I count? No, I can't. So, time for the next one. All right, up next, we got four laps at Infineon. All right, time for another rolling start. Everybody's favorite. Whenever you're trying to go for high ace back points and you get a rolling start. To make it that much more impossible to win. And you have to use nitrous the entire time. Oh, these slowdowns are so annoying! Ow. Well, uh, yeah, I did that. I'm a Forza player, apparently. Okay, you can all just... Alright, looks like we're going off-roading now. squeeze on by. That's a really pretty color. I just noticed that. Like a candy red. 
Uh, okay, almost touched the grass. That would have been suicide right there. Chasing down the C4 is the R1. The AI are the best at this track, if I'm honest. I really like this track, too. And here I go. Just because I like it doesn't mean I'm good at it. As for tracks I hate, and I'm also shit at, uh, Suzuka. Easily. Fuck that track. Any track that has S's like Suzuka or Circuit of the Americas, it can go straight to hell. Anybody who likes tracks like that are masochists. Even bigger ones than I am, and that's saying something. Like, that's an achievement. Up, slowly clu cruising, cruising our way to Victory. Also, I've noticed we still haven't driven the stock car configuration of this track, which is like the NASCAR. Stock car, NASCAR, same shit, different name. And I'm going wide. And okay, now I'm losing it. Okay. Well, uh, there goes that lead I had. Oh, hey, how are you? Never really been good at that turn right there. Just like thought I'd mention that after awkward silence. God, these pedals are so noisy. I really should have rigged them up to this rig. Because this whole Logitech plastic shit just makes so much noise. And I figure I could do a more solid mount for them. Hello cone, yeet. And just like that, I'm now four or five seconds ahead of, of the second place again. I almost set ahead of the leader again. My brain doesn't exist, no. My brain does it exist, not doesn't. Is it? Yeah. <sighs> Hmm. 
Not even gonna say it. And here we go into the same patch of grass once again. Hey, final lap. Cool. Stuff and things. A little bit wide right here. You're lucky this time, cones. And not these ones. Okay, maybe they will be. Not that one, though. So, race number four down. We got one to go. I believe it's at El Capitan. One of my favorite tracks. Matter of fact, it might actually be my favorite track in the game. As of everyone else's. Another ten thou? Bada bong, bada dong, bada ching, bada chong. Coronavirus. El Capitan for four laps. Yay! Alright, here we go with our fifth and final race at El Capitan for four laps. Featuring slowdowns. Yeah. So, uh, a little bit weird, but I'm kind of recording this on the next day from the previous race. So I kind of forgot about the stuff that I was talking about, but I kind of had an interruption and I haven't been able to finish this recording until now. So here I am. Uh, I really got to do something about this shit. It's so painfully slow. Still running like half speed right now. Ugh. Bonk. Pardon me, sir. Thank you. Bonk. The AI is just incredibly slow at this track for some reason. Specifically, this section. Okay, I turned a little too late right there. Kind of fucked me, but whatever. Yeah, they kind of take that uh, reverse corkscrew way too slow. And so I just end up dominating every race that's on this track. Get another look at the car because ow. So yeah, not much really going on anymore. Just cruising to the end of the video at this point. This thing has a ton of body roll. Probably because American car. Also, that C4 Grand Sport is 
pulled quite far ahead of the field. I think that uh, Z06 is still getting held up by those older vets. Older, slower ones. That was a terrible approach. Still have nothing to say. What a great entertainer I am. Pulling a massive lead now because of how hilariously slow everyone else is around here. I just wish the AI in this game were a little bit more challenging, but can't have everything. Some tracks are like holy shit, and some tracks it's like this. Complete domination. I probably could have done decently well with uh, standard tires. Pretty sure these are sports mediums on this. Even though they kind of feel like softs, but that's probably just the way this car handles. Took that a hell of a lot better this time. Didn't kiss the wall like I always do. Light on the throttle as you go over the crest. I turned too early. It's probably gonna cost me. Yep, bunk. Oh, hello there. Hello there, snap over steer. Brought to you by Elevation Change. Hello there, invisible wall. Brought to you by Bad Driver. Hello, visible wall. Probably feels a lot less entertaining whenever I don't have the in game music on, but I must keep it disabled because copyright shit. Unfortunately. I might go through all the uh, the songs in this soundtrack and see which ones are copyright protected, see which ones aren't, and then I'll probably just keep the non-copyright ones on, just so that it's not complete silence and just car noises the entire video, unless that's what y'all prefer. So, I don't know. Normally I just listen to my own music whenever I race anyways, but not wherever I'm making videos because my, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Fuck it. Uh, I can't really listen to music and talk about stuff at the same time while simultaneously playing something. Sensory overload, I think that's what I'm looking for.
on the final turn. And I've pretty much haven't used my NOS this entire race. I should probably stop buying it all the time. But fuck it. So there we have it. Corvette challenge is complete. And I probably should get the replay first. So I'm gonna do that and we'll collect our prize car. And a prize for the Corvette event thing, whatever the fuck it was called, is a C2 race car. Cool. I like the C2 vets, they're, they're pretty nice. The vet vet vet. So that's what the name of the event was, okay. Anyways, uh, like always, gonna check out the prize car, even though it's gonna slow the shit out of the game. And unfortunately, we didn't hit 25% game completion yet. It's probably gonna happen in the next video, though. So, uh, let's have a little look-see here. And it's gonna slow down the game again, but whatever. C2 vet with stickers and shit on it. So, with that being said, Stay tuned for more one-make races and more GT4.